My name is Diana F. Reed, and I had both hip replacements at Bone and Joint. It started really bad because I couldn't even sleep at night. I was ready because I was tired of the embarrassment of walking that way, and I couldn't do anything with my grandson. That's when I decided I had to have something done. Dr. Kennedy have an awesome staff, seriously. Everyone was so friendly and so accommodating. I knew it was something special about him, and so his leadership just kind of like took a domino effect. Everyone was so friendly, and they explained to me what was gonna happen, and then that's all I remember until I got back, and they gave me instructions, you know, on, on what to do, and pretty much it. They were just so, man, awesome people. Ms. Reed came to me earlier this year with significant progression of her right hip symptoms, pain and difficulty walking. We agreed to proceed then with right total hip arthroplasty performed as an outpatient. She did wonderfully with her surgery. She was very committed to getting up and going as she's up walking again, little to no pain, back to activities, and very active in her community once again. Went in, had surgery that same day, went home, walked that exact same day, no problems. <laughs> none whatsoever. My husband couldn't keep up with me. I could actually get up without the fear of falling. I could bend over and tie my shoe. I could step in the tub and get out of the tub, you know, but I haven't been concerned about it. At my job, I'm not embarrassed to get up if someone come in. I have two grandkids, one that's eight. I couldn't interact with him at all. Now I can go outside, I can play with them, I can run with them. Now, and I have a nine month old grandson before my surgery, I couldn't push him in the stroller. I couldn't pick him up without fear of falling. Now, push him in the stroller, I could pick him up, uh, just interact. Be at ease, if Dr. Kennedy's doing your surgery, be rest assured, be at ease, pray, and leave the rest up to God and him, it works. <laughs>